welcome to the world famous Luau Show, where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentle fish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. <laughs> Any news on who the thief is? No, but we're still looking for clues. I'm very proud of all my performers. They worked so hard to make this show world famous. I'm delighted that you could come to my world-famous luau show. We're glad we could come too, Rosie. I wish I could get this metal nut off my tooth. Just hold still, Nadine. We'll have that nut off in two shakes of a guppy's tail. Oh, Rapture. I'm normal again. This might come in handy, but don't worry, Luther. You're still my favorite nut. Gee, thanks, Freddy. I think... We can use this nut to hold the handle on. Got it! Good work, Luther! All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find that conch shell so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. How's the investigation going? Don't worry, Uncle Blanny. We're on the case. We'll add some light, Luther, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Who, me? I wasn't afraid! <laughs> 
You can put the jewel back, and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Put that. 
that jewel back. Look, Lothar, the thief must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. No conch shell means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. I here came too for this. Disappointed my old silver-haired granny will be. If not snapshot, I bring back from festival. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Please help me! Please help me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found bread and a sewing needle. Which means the thief is... The contents of the bag clearly established the thief's identity as... Pierre! You're the thief! Ridiculous! That could have been anybody's thread on sewing needle in that bag! You have nothing on me! Oh la la! Oh no? Alright, uh, maybe you two have something on me? I confess. The Great Conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. It would have made the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The Great Conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. Also, being great at something you do doesn't give you the right to do bad things. And no matter how you look at it, stealing is bad. I feel smaller than the krill. I am sorry, Needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Sonny. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. Pierre was convicted of breaking penal code 919 for only thinking of himself. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. Case closed. I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Ta-da! Ha ha ha!